What is up my dudes, it's Pac-Man here and today I'm bringing you guys a video on finding a team to play with in Rainbow Six Siege. A lot of you guys have been commenting on my videos and messaging me privately asking for advice on this so I thought I would just compile all the information I have into a little video for you guys uh, so you understand the next steps that you need to take. Finding a team can be really really tough especially when it's your first one uh, but hopefully if you guys try some of the methods I mentioned in this video it can help you get your foot in the door. So without wasting any time let's get straight into it. So let's start off with why you would want to join a team in the first place. I've spoken about this a few times recently, um, but without a doubt, the best way to improve your rank and improve your overall skill level is to find a team and improve together. It opens up a whole different world where you can start to slot into a primary role, you can work on specific strats for both attack and defense, you can hop into competitive play and you know start testing yourself against the best and, and just so much more. Uh, finding a team is something I would definitely recommend to everyone and anyone. So the next thing to touch on is why do you specifically want a team? Do you want to take the next step and start playing competitively? Are you looking to find a team to grind ranked with? Or you know, are you just looking to find a team to have fun with and kick back? This part's super important because you need to know why you want to join a team in order to find the right team to join. <laughs> There's no point joining a team of casual players who just like having fun when you want to start playing in tournaments and vice versa, you know, it works both ways. You need to know why you want to join a team so you can find the right fit. So one of the best ways to find a team is through Discord groups. This in my opinion is the best way to find like-minded players to team with and uh, it really caters for all players um, you know, no matter what skill level. There are looking for member threads where teams are recruiting players from every rank right up to Challenger League and you know, sometimes even Pro League. Um, there's also looking for team threads where you can personally post out you know, that you're looking for a team along with your experience and skill level then teams looking for a player like you can uh, reach out and contact you specifically. These discords vary you know, heavily from region to region. Um, I know in Australia we use or 6 ANZ, but if you're from another region, you know, try the official Rainbow Six Siege Discord, uh, the ESL Discord, or any other local tournament providers' discords. You might need to do a bit of Googling, uh, but it won't take you long. Once you find your region's competitive or 6 Discord, you're never really gonna struggle to find a team again. I'll be updating the description of this video with any links you guys provide me for the different forums and discords um, over time, so be sure to have a look down there and see if you can find one that works for you. So another really good way to find a team is through different forums. You can usually find these forums on the websites of well-known tournament providers. Um, from time to time, teams will post out there saying they're recruiting new members, and the same as before, you can also post out a thread saying that you're looking for a team. Um, a really good example of this is Reddit. Uh, there's tons of competitive forums on or 6 um, so just have a browse through and see if you can find a team that way. I'm going to leave one specifically, uh, a link for it in the description. So I want to try something out here. Uh, I'm guessing that the vast majority of you guys watching this video are currently looking for people to play with. So if that's you, drop a comment down below with your username and region and why you want to play. Um, and let's see if we can help each other out. Please don't post any personal information like your name or address. Uh, if I see anything like this, I'll delete the comments straight away. Uh, we've got to keep each other safe. It's a crazy world. But be sure, leave a comment, drop your username, drop your region, and uh, let's try and pair you guys up. Next up is Pugs slash Tenmans. This is probably going to cater more towards those of you who really want to start moving forward in Siege um, and hop into the comp ranks. You can use sites like Faceit, which will allow you to hop into 10-man matches, which work off the same rule set as pro games. Uh, basically, it sorts you into random teams where you all have to jump into a Discord and communicate that way. The reason I mention this specifically is because 10 mans are usually filled with people who already play competitively, so it's a really good way to get yourself into the community. Uh, ask around when playing if the people on your team are in teams or you know if they're searching for one, stuff like that. So it's a good way to meet people in the competitive community. Uh, they may be searching for someone just like you, or they might even be in the same boat as you and you can team up together. Try it out. So this sort of ties in with my next tip, which is networking. You've probably heard of this term before, um, it's commonly used in the business world. It's basically where you get out there and you grow your network of relationships um, of people involved in your community. You can use these same principles to help you find people to team with. You know, speak with people in game chat. If the chemistry is good, ask them if they want to remain as a team. Maybe even add them to your friends list and invite them for games next time you're on. One of the best ways to find a team is to simply put yourself out there and meet people in the community. I can tell by how many people have been commenting, like asking me to make this video, that there is plenty of people looking for a team, you know, in the exact same boat as you are. Uh, so put yourself out there and ask around, make friends. 
Don't worry about negative people who might laugh or ridicule you, uh, you know, for trying to put yourself out there. They're usually the ones that um, struggle to find friends themselves. <laughs> and so lastly, try putting a .lft at the end of your name. Um, not going to go into much depth on this, but LFT basically stands for looking for team. So if you have that in your name and you just so happen to come across a few players that are looking for someone, it just might work out for you. Uh, do note that I've never personally done this, um, as long as I can remember anyway, but I do see it done quite uh, often, so obviously it works for some. Now I just wanted to make one final point that I thought I had to include, um, which is attitude. Remember, just as much as you want to find a team that you get along with, that you share goals with and enjoy playing with, uh, you also have to be the person that you're trying to find. If you're looking for a team to start playing comp with, um, show up on time and put in the work. If you're looking for a bunch of chill dudes to just, you know, have fun with, be a chill dude and have fun. I know it sounds silly, but you have to remember that having the right attitude is half of any battle. So be the kind of person that you want to team with. It'll help more than you know. And so there you have it, guys. Hopefully by implementing some of these tips, you can get into your first team and start the real Siege experience. You should also find that once you find your first team, moving from team to team and finding other people to play with will come a whole lot easier. So if you found this video helpful, please, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, the channel has really been growing fast recently and it all comes down to your support. I really do appreciate it. I cannot say that enough. Uh, but with that being said, dudes, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.